Yeah, I mean, it happened in camp and then it just healed, so, you know, I guess uh, I was saying it's like the Nate Diaz, too much scar tissue. Uh, so, you, you know, your thoughts on, on the defense uh, coming out there today, obviously a uh, pretty good way to start the season. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a confidence booster. we got a bunch of young guys out there. They all got experience, and, you know, hopefully we can just keep the train rolling. What was working so well? I mean, obviously, we, we, we talked about the running back a lot. You guys kept him in check and kept the quarterback in check pretty well, too. What you guys do to kind of negate that aspect for them? Uh, I mean, just follow the game plan. Listen to Coach Avalos. We, we prepared well. He put, he put a great game plan together, and, you know, we just executed our jobs real well. You mentioned, you, let's see, you mentioned the young guys. I mean, you guys. I think you guys played eight true freshmen today on both sides of the ball. What is it about that young group that's impressed you guys? That anything that gave the coaches confidence? You know, I just think that they came in and they just wanted to work and they wanted to be great. And, uh, you know, they're not, they're not great by any means yet, but they're on their way. And uh, just getting that experience, you know, helps them a lot. So shows them the game speed, all that. And, you know, so hopefully they can just keep it up. Tanner, I know we talked about the heat and all that stuff. I mean, how hot was it out there? Uh, it wasn't. I mean, I didn't really notice it at all, really, unless. Uh, you're sitting on the sidelines, like I said before. Uh, when you're out on the field, you don't really notice the heat or anything. The more, the thing that you notice the, or you notice the most is, uh, you know, once you start breathing hard, that's that's what you, that's what you notice more. Uh, how eager were you guys just to be able to get out there and you know, not, it's not practice anymore, but it's actually coming together as yeah. eleven guys on the field at one point in time. Man, we've been waiting waiting for this since you know the last game of last season, and for me, it's an extra game of last, the whatever that game was. So uh, you know, it's a great to be back out on the team, out on the field. This is what we, this is what we train for. This is why we, why we're here. Um, you know, going to school at Boise State to play football here, and uh, you know, it's great. A lot it's of great. questions, obviously, about the defense coming into this year. I mean, you, I know you're not going to do it in one game, but did you start to maybe answer some questions that you guys are going to be all right, even though you lost those guys? Yeah, I mean, the questions come from you guys. We all, we, we, we uh, you know, we're confident in ourselves. So. Hopefully we can just keep, like I said, keep the train rolling and you know keep this thing going. How was it nice for the offense to do what they did too to get you guys a lead? It's always good to get to come out, get a start fast on offense. Get, it gets us like a little comfortable, and uh, you know our offense is usually rolling. When they're rolling, we're rolling. It seems like you know, their first play of the game, I think they got 20 yards. Then after that, you guys just really clamped down. After that, was that, was that something that's kind of woke you guys up? Or I mean, you, when they start off to play, play like that, what do you guys? How do you react? Um, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't want you to get ran over. <laughs> That's a blooper. But, uh, <laughs> thanks, thank you. Thanks for looking out. And yeah, there's a car. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, I think uh, he got the ball out of his hands uh, at the last second, you know, just they made a play, and uh, I don't think it had too big of an impact on the rest of the game. Sure. We just came out, and, you know, we want. We, we wanted to come out and play hard, and I think that's what we did. But uh, you know, how big of a, you know, you mentioned you know, being a confidence booster for your defense too, but for your team, just, you know, you out there 45 to 10, the offense is clicking, defense is clicking, just to have both sides right off the bat and hit the ground running. I mean, it, you know, it always feels good to come out, uh, get a win, and then get a win in this fashion. You know, it's definitely come, I mean, you guys can probably hear us in the locker room, we're excited about it, all the hard work's, you know, paying off, but we're not there yet. We still got a lot of work to do. So you, I mean, I, I know that this was just sinking in, but are you guys excited to get home and play in front of you know Bronco Nation next week? Get on the blue. There's nothing like playing in front of Bronco Nation, you know. 30, 37 strong. Uh, we're ready to go. I, I know you said you know you like playing both middle and the outside, but it seems like when you played the outside, you've been really productive, and you did it again today. Uh, that, how, how does that fit you, and how did you feel out there, kind of playing in that spot? I felt good, you know. Um, just you know, like I said, Coach Avalos, he gets us prepared, he gets me prepared. Um, probably the best coach I've ever had. Uh, you know, he's really detail-oriented, oriented, and it helps me a lot. A lot, a lot going against you guys. Long trip, early start, heat, all that. What, what does it say about you guys to come out and have the dominant performance you guys did? I think it just says that we're always ready to go, you know. We had that uh, we had that fall practice, that fall scrimmage or whatever. It was scheduled later in the afternoon. We did it early, and, you know, we had a pretty good scrimmage, and I think I think that got, that got our confidence up. Yes, sir.